Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Uh, today I've got another Cinema 4D tutorial and today we're going to be continuing on with the series I started the other week on learning materials. And so today I'm going to be teaching you how to animate materials uh, so that over a, over a period of time on the keyframe of the series in Cinema 4D, uh, the colours will actually change. And when done good, uh, it, it, gives, it gives a really nice effect. And uh, before we get started, uh, you may notice something immediately different. I'm currently working uh, on a Mac. Uh, this was uh, sent to me by Snow Designs. Uh, so links in the description if you want to check him out. He's got some good stuff. Uh, so yeah, thank you for him for uh, sending it to me. It's big help. And um, anyway, uh, let's get on with the tutorial. So let's open up Cinema 4D. And here's a quick example of what we're going to be creating. And you see immediately there. Obviously, it is the effect used in, in its very basic state, uh, but it's just the colors changing. Uh, so this is what we're going to be working on. So I'm just going to delete this material here, and we've just got the basic text in a scene uh, from MoGraph, and nothing added, no render settings, no nothing. Uh, so we're pretty much from square one. So first thing you want to do, you want to make a new material, so I'm just going to go to File, New Material, and just go right click, and I'm going to Edit the material which will bring up the material editor and the first thing I'm going to do is choose your first color and so I'm going to choose in fact cancel and cancel make sure you're at the beginning on your timeline keyframe zero or whenever you want it to start however for this example I'm going to be making it start uh, from the beginning of time so with uh, now I'll go back into the material editor and I'm going to change the first color to a nice bright red, like so. And if you see the little circle here by color, if you hold control and click, this will keyframe it. Then if you move along to 10 keyframes, and you can change the color then to maybe a yellow, hold control and keyframe it yet again. Now this is what you all got to do. Uh, you just keyframe the different colors. Uh, maybe if you want to, you can keep a series going. And if you had like gradients or whatever, it gives a really nice effect. And as I said a second ago, this is this is kind of the r r real basis of kind of the whole the whole animated materials thing. So I'll do a last one on 30 keyframes, and I'll change it to a blue. And okay, I haven't really checked what colors they don't match. They won't do anything, um, but you'll see on how to animate them. And obviously nothing will happen yet because we haven't applied it to the text. So go ahead and drag the material onto the text, like so, and click play. And there you have it, that's how to create some animated materials. Uh, if you have a gradient, as I said earlier, it can look quite nice. Uh, I believe I've got uh, my intro contest I, I released a while ago, coming up to a year now. And I'll mute the music, just to annoy you guys, and play here. And you see that it actually starts to change colour. And I see quite positive feedback on this intro, especially where I was at the time. Uh, and a lot of people wondering how I actually made the different materials or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, okay, maybe a year late or whatever. Uh, but for those people who don't know how to do it, uh, well, here you go. Uh, but anyway, that's all from me, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, again, once again, uh, say thank you to Snow Designs. Links in the description. Uh, tell them thank you on behalf of me for the, for the, for the current Mac I'm using. Uh, but that's all from me. Thanks for watching this video. I'm in Chrome Designs, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.